I'm Joshua Lipton. It's been about five months since the pandemic began, and the constantly changing public health orders haven't always been easy to live with, but one rule you'd think would be easy to follow is wearing a mask. Some follow it religiously, small fraction do not, and an even smaller number has resorted to mask shaming. Valerie Sokolowski is an etiquette expert and the author of Do It Right, the new book of business etiquette. Thank you for joining me today. It's a joy. Thanks for having me. So, Valerie, what is going on here? Some people are getting shamed for not wearing a mask, while others are shaming people for wearing one. Oh, my goodness. You know, uh, it is a shame because uh, be darned if you do, be darned if you don't. Well, I'll tell you what's going on. Uh, frankly, it isn't an etiquette issue. Yes, I'm an etiquette expert, but this is a life and death issue, in all honesty. This is something we need to take very seriously. And I'm just appalled at the fact that many people, unfortunately, this is a broad statement, but the truth, many young people are just saying, oh, to heck with it. You know, I want to be social, and I'm going to be. And we just can't do that. We've got to take responsibility. And here's what I would say to the audience. We live in the USA, right? Well, the U.S. stands for us, us living in America. And if we're in it to win it, which we have to be, then let's think about being compliant and not being uh, obstinate or rebellious or just flat not caring. Because we've got to be compliant. That's the only thing that's going to help us get through this. And that's a fact. If you see someone not wearing a mask at a place where they are required, should you say something? Is it right to deputize yourself and get into this battle? No, it's not your responsibility to be the policeman on this. And, and here's why. The people who are being defiant rather than compliant are probably the same people who are defiant in other areas of life. So let's just take texting when you're driving. For heaven's sakes, we drive down the streets, and how many people are texting while they're driving? Well, that is not compliant. That is defiant, and it isn't good for anybody. But do they care? No. So it doesn't do any good if someone has that mentality. It's a shame that they do, but it would do no good for you to pull over the car or stick your head out the window and say, why are you texting? So, no, I would just move away, literally, and not say anything because it isn't going to do any good. And what about the workers? We've all seen the viral videos of workers being put in this difficult situation, several here in San Diego going viral. Now, should they be put in the position of being the mask police where they work? Well, you know, they probably have no choice but to enforce their rules. And I've seen this, too. Yes, it's kind of a shame. Now, <clears throat> I will tell you that I've seen some retailers, people who work in some sort of a retail situation or restaurant, I, I've seen them do it well, and I've seen them do it not so well. So what does not so well look like? Well, not so well is put on your mask. Would you please put on your mask? It's tone of voice, and it's what you say and how you say it. The other side of the coin is I saw someone in a, in a situation just yesterday, actually, and this young man simply said, would you kindly wear your mask for all of us? Well, what are you going to say? No. They have to enforce the rules, but it's how you do it. Valerie, humans aren't always the best when it comes to social change, and the pandemic has unleashed a horde of changes on us. How can we as a human race better adapt in the era of COVID? I hope this doesn't sound trivial because I don't mean it to be so, but the positivity side of me says, for one thing, okay, so if we have to wear a mask, find some that make you happy when you're smiling in the mirror and you see yourself in the mask, you know? So get some kind of a mask that's either, uh, that shows your personality. So show something about you in a mask, and there's lots of fun masks, nice masks, beautiful masks, and silly masks. So find one. That would be one thing. Have some fun with it because what choice do you have? You can either have some fun with it and be positive or just be a downer every time you put it on. Etiquette expert Valerie Sokolowski and the author of Do It Right, the new book of business etiquette discussing mask shaming and what to do if you find yourself falling victim to a shamer or feel the need to become the mask police. Thank you for your time, Valerie. Thank you so much.